Steve with David. In this video, we're gonna show you the five self-defense moves that everyone should know. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD, normally retailing for 129 bucks. But enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video. So, good luck. These are so simple that you can learn these in the next 10 minutes and you'll be able to use it in the fight even if it happened right after this video. This is how simple it is that any Tom, Dick or Harry can use these techniques right away. At the end of this video, you're going to see bonus technique number 6 and we're going to show it to you. So stay tuned. Here we go. Technique number one is the shadowless kick. It's so fast and Chinese call them Mo Ying Ge, which means the kick with no shadow. It's so fast and so unpredictable that it's called the shadowless kick. Can you see a shadow? There's no shadow. That's how fast it is. Okay? So it's used to be a surprise attack where somebody doesn't look, okay? When they're punching you, they're looking in this tunnel. Somebody's mad, you get tunnel vision. You only see this much. So when there's a kick coming down here, and I don't even move my upper body, that's how powerful and that's how devastating it is. It doesn't take a lot. Try to flick your own balls. Don't do that, it's okay? <laughs> and it's gonna hurt, okay? So this is the most powerful, one of the most powerful and one of the most deadly kicks in the existence of Kung Fu. Call them Bo Ying Ge, shadowless kick. So good thing he's covering his balls, otherwise they will be pulverized. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the technique number one, shadowless kick. <laughs> technique number two is the power palm. See in the sequence you go, and then boom, power palm. Okay, watch the next video we're gonna do, which is why you don't punch in a street fight. Why don't you punch in a street fight? Because you might break your knuckles because the head is hard. So instead, you're gonna use the power palm. Bam! Alright? because your hand is a lot safer, safer to use than a fist. And it's got more surface. So it's less time, less chance for you to miss the strike. When you have a punch, it's only your knuckles. Your knuckles. If you have a palm, you got your whole palm here. Bigger surface means less chance of missing. And it's safer for you. Okay, boom! Especially if you're gonna punch the face. Okay, even in training, people get their teeth, their opponent's teeth, in your knuckles, and that's not pretty, you gotta have stitches, all right? So our students, that's happened. So make sure that you don't punch in the street fight unless you're really accurate and you punch really accurate here or here. But if you punch here, then you get, you need stitches. If you punch here, you break your knuckles, the hard part. You need to punch the soft part, which is the chin or the throat, okay? Uh, or the body, very safe to punch the body. So the next one is the power pump. Bam! All right? Technique number three is power slaps. So remember the sequence, he's coming in, bah, shadow is kick, power bomb, boom, and then he's going backwards, and then power slap, bam, bam. Okay? Think about a baseball bat. If you have a baseball bat, can you hit harder poking the bat? Or can you hit harder if you swing the bat? Probably if you swing the bat. So it's a very natural motion, a natural way to generate, uh, generate a lot of power by swinging. Bam, okay, I'm just on his shoulder, right? Hear the slap, right? So imagine that you saw it on the guy's uh, only going 50% power with the helmet, and how did that feel? Oh, that hurt. He's so hurt. <laughs> okay, so I'm only going 50% power. He's wearing the motorcycle helmet, and it still hurts. So this is a very powerful technique. Okay, it's called a power slap. Bam! I'm just doing the shoulder right now. Bam! You can hear the power. All right. So that's going boom to the guy's back of the head, or boom to the temple. Okay, a boom, just right to the face. Or boom, right to the ear, you're gonna have ears ringing. you probably lose hearing for the next one hour if you're ringing. Okay, so don't do this to your partner when you're training. Make sure you have protective gear. And even if you have protective gear, don't do it as hard as you can, okay? So just slowly just place it here and just push that again. Boom, okay? 
power slaps. That's technique number three. So the first sequence that works very well is Shadow's kick, boom, power slap, power slap. Okay? Very useful. Very good technique, very good combination. You can practice even at home. Just Shadow's kick, power palm, power slap, power slap. You can power slap to the ball too. Okay? So just power slap here, you can power slap to the ribs, to the ribs, you can power slap underneath. Okay, you can power slap underneath to the ball. So those are the first three techniques. And stay tuned, we're gonna show you the next sequence and three more awesome techniques that you must know. Super simple to use, super simple to learn. Nothing here that's complicated. All right, so let's go on to the next part. Technique number four is the flinch blocks. Why is it so effective? Why is it so useful? It's because you do it naturally anyway. When you hear a loud sound, what do you do? Whoa, what's that? Okay, when you see a bright light sh flashing in your face, you go, whoa, what's that? Okay? When somebody ambushes you, same thing happens. Whoa, what's that? Everything happens just like that for every human being. If you can breathe on a mirror and it fogs up, that's gonna happen to you when you get surprised, when you get ambushed, when there's an attack coming out of nowhere. Okay? It's called a flinch because you just flinch. Naturally, your response is to cover your head, duck, and then bring your hands up. And you know what? It works really well, so why not use it in self-defense? Because you're already doing it. You don't even have to train. This is something you're already doing naturally without even thinking. So now, we're gonna make it even better. Flinch block, boom. Okay, any attack, I don't need to know what it is. Boom, that blocks it. Any attack, boom, that blocks it. Any attack, boom, that dog blocks it, okay? Most high likely is going to be punching, all right? So this will block most of the, um, most of the hand attacks are coming. So this is the wrong way of doing it. See, I'm leaning back, he's gonna do another one, right? Now I'm top balance, I'm gonna fall on my ass to the floor and get my ass kicked, okay? So in order, instead of doing that, we're going to go in with the flinch block. So you're coming, boom. I'm going to use my momentum and go in to stuff, stuff his power, to cut off his power, to stunt his power. All right, so like that, okay, boom. Like that, okay. So I want my elbows most likely to touch his chest. I'm not going to be going, boom, with my elbows like that. I'm just going to be worried about touching his chest with my elbows like that. No, I know I'm in this position for the next attack for the next move I'm going to show you, okay? So number one, flinch block is, I'm going to drop, and then go out like that, like a bee, okay? So this is natural, he's punching, whoa! This is a natural thing that happens. Next thing I want to train myself to do is go in and back up, like a bee. All right, so that is technique number four, the flinch block. It's going to help you with pretty much any hand attack. And it's not 100%, but it's simple. You're already using it. You're already programmed. Your mind is already programmed to do this, ah, right? So why not use it and create it into a technique, okay? So technique number five is works perfectly with this because he's coming in, boom, and then you're in this position, right? You can feel what you're touching. So you don't need to see, you can just stand up, boom, and boom, and then use your head, knock his chin back like that. Headbutt, bam. All right, why is the headbutt so powerful? You know that which is the hardest bone on your body? It's the top of your skull, okay? That is the hardest bone in your body and can take the most force. So why not use it? You don't even need to train it. If you train knuckles, it takes a while to get your knuckles to be tough. If you train your shins to kick like in Muay Thai, it takes a while to train your shins to get tough. But it doesn't take much because your heart head is already hard. This is the hardest bone in your body. So why not use it in attacking, okay? So, boom, and then here, Boom, stand up and wrap with the chin, okay? This will knock him back. And then the third, and then the last bonus technique we're gonna show you is, is the push kick. All right? So, bonus technique, number six, is the push kick. Very useful in any self-defense situation. And it's so easy to learn because this, you're just lifting your foot and then pushing forward with it, okay? So you're here, pushing, you can push on the balls, okay? You can push on the solar plexus a little bit higher, or you can just push in the pelvic bone right above the groin. Boom. And you can see the guy buckle like that, okay? So even though, but as long as you push somewhere on the center, he's gonna go backwards, okay? So a very powerful technique. What I like to do is to use my, the, um, the balls of my foot, okay, the instep to push, okay? Boom, instep because you get more penetration into his gut. The guy's gut might be, he might be fast, got a lot of meat here. So you push with your heel, so much surface pushing against all that fat, it's not gonna 
you know, do much damage. So you want to do more damage, use your toe. Maybe you have steel toe boots, this is dangerous. Don't do it, you know, be careful. But you maybe have runners, use your instep, and then push and kind of like a spear into his gut or a spear into his solar plexus. Okay, so that is the bonus technique number six. So there you have it, the five self-defense techniques that you must know. Anybody can learn these. These are so simple, it doesn't even take much training. All right, so you can use these even today in the fight. So I'll see you soon in the next lesson. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to get all the latest lessons and videos that I'm releasing on this channel. Make sure you click the bell next to the subscribe button so you get instant notification of all the new videos that are coming out and you'll be the first to see them.